is basalt. Basalt is a rock that forms from magma of an iron and magnesium rich chemistry. And as it cools, it can form into some really incredible shapes. So let's take a quick look at three of some of the most interesting ones. Number one, columnar basalt, or columnar jointing, is a type of basalt that forms into these hexagonal pillars. The basalt can cool and form into some really neat shapes, from the typical vertical columns to fans and rosette patterns. I recently shared a video from an adventure to the Columbia River basalt, a very large span of basalt that you can find in places like eastern Washington and portions of Oregon. And this stuff is the product of something called a flood basalt. It's called a flood basalt because literally magma flooded the landscape. Up next, Hoi Hoi is a ropey, smooth texture. It flowed with low viscosity, a bit like water, but liquid rock. Yeah, melted rock. So as you can guess, very hot material. These flows result in a thin, smooth pattern, like wavy, cooled strips of lava. We took a closer look at this stuff when I visited the craters of the moon, where the continent is literally rifting itself apart. So check that out. Number three, pillow basalt. The result of basalt material flowing into water, and it makes these cool, rounded, pillow-like shapes. And we can find this stuff all over the West Coast US today. It's associated with an ancient piece of land that actually formed out in the ocean. So how did it go on to form the Western portion of America? Well, I just talked all about this in a video about the Olympic Peninsula, where we took a close up view of these pillow basalts. And lastly, as a bonus, vesicular basalt. This is basically basalt with a lot of vesicles in it. And these are simply the result of air bubbles in the lava when it cooled. If you want to know more about any of these cool things I talked about today, there's a virtual field trip here already for each of the locations. Or just sub and join me on the next adventure.